Hey guys, it's Alex VA back here with another video, and tonight's video is going to be part two to the dance accessor. I'm sorry if you hear um, music in the background. My aunt is cleaning and she likes to clean the music on. So yeah, let's get into it. So it's a it's been a couple days since I uh, you know you invent your you advance sleepover, and you're at the grab and go. And, like, you, you didn't have any plans with Vance today. You were gonna just, you know, hang out at home, hang out with your mom. You had family coming over and stuff. And, you know, you kind of just walk into the garden and go, and you see Vance there. And there's this girl. Um, we're gonna call her Emily. No offense to any Emilys, except for one, because there's an Emily at my school that I absolutely fucking hate. But anyway, this girl's name is Emily. Please, if your name is Emily, I'm not trying to be mean to you guys, Okay. We're just going to name her Emily. All right. But she was, like, lean, like, you know when people, like, lean against, like, a table and they have, like, their hands, like, the palm of their hands on it. And then they're kind of, like, leaned on the their hands, but backwards. And she has, like, her head turned towards him. Uh, uh, I'll put a picture uh, uh, right here if you don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, um, she's standing like that, and Vance is like, has his arm crossed, has his arms crossed, and is leaning up against the wall, and, um, you're like, wait, who the hell is this? Like, we're gonna say she was like a really pretty girl, like, really pretty girl, and you were like, standing there, and you were like, wait, what's going on? Like, I didn't know Vance hung out with, well, people like her. She was really well-dressed. Like, she was super pretty. Like, lots of makeup. Like, you never thought that he'd be interested in someone like that. So, you're kind of just, like, you know, standing there. And, um, you walk up to him. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, Vance, who's this? Oh, no sir, hey, wasn't expecting you to see you. Wasn't expecting to see you here today. What's going on? I thought you were gonna have family over. Oh, you're picking up sugar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is Emily. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, sorry, they don't like physical touch. I, I mean, unless it's like me or <laughs> um so are you guys dating oh no 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 it's not like that it's not like that we've been friends since we were like three <laughs> trust me we're not dating oh okay um well i can get going now if you guys are gonna hang out hmm? oh it's okay you can't stay long, I'm guessing? Yeah, they have family coming over. Oh, um, yeah. No wonder you guys aren't hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you want some help, listener? No? Are you sure? Um, alright. So... You walk away before Vance could even say bye to you. Like, you're like, fuck you and Emily. I'm out of here. So, you walk over to, like, where the sugar is. And you grab, um, a bag of it. And you look behind to see Emily, like, starts getting touchy with him. Like, starts touching his arms. Like, like rubbing them. Being like, oh, like, you're so handsome. And, like, stuff like that. And, like, you're kind of looking at her, and you're, like, get your fucking hands off of him. Like, you're, like, you were jealous, but you didn't know why. Like, you were usually the only one that was that close with him. Like, actually let him touch you. You were just glad that he wasn't letting her touch his hair. Because, like, you kind of, <laughs> when you guys were younger... You said that you claimed his hair, and it's just been, like, a running joke in your guys' little, like, duo friendship. 
And, like, he's never let anyone touch his hair. Like, not even his own mom. Like, his mom needs to get permission from you to touch his hair. And, yeah. So, you're kind of, like, floating through the aisles trying to, like, spy on them. But you're also looking for something because, like, you have to look like you're trying to find something. And you turn around to see Emily starts to twirl Vance's hair. And Vance isn't doing anything about it. So you're kind of like staring at them. And you can f- like your your hand starts to like ball up in a fist. And like you're like you're getting really angry about this. Because like what the fuck? Like is he like is he trying to replace me? Like what the hell's going on? And Vance like looks away from Emily's gaze and looks towards you and you you know you like quickly turn and grab like the first thing you saw and um walked up to the front desk and slammed it down and um you paid for it and then left but you heard Vance shortly after you with the following of running footsteps so there's gonna be a trigger warning coming up uh, Friday, and also I'm gonna be voicing you guys for this part, sorry, and also you guys don't like that, but I just feel like it'll make a little bit more sense, but you will know when I'm done voicing you guys, I will tell you, but yeah, let's get into it. Listener, listener, where are you going? Vance, can you just leave me alone? No, listener, you're literally my best friend, why would I leave you alone? You're too caught up in it. fucking Emily, that's why. What are you talking about? Nothing, Vance. Just leave me the fuck alone. No, no, I'm not gonna leave you the fuck alone. First of all, you stormed out of the grab and go like you were fucking pissed. Like you just saw some guy, like, flirting with your mom or something. Why would you care? You have Emily. Go back to her. Because you're my friend. I've known you longer. Why wouldn't I? Vance, can you just leave me alone, please? Listener, I've told you this before. I'm not going to fucking leave you alone. Now tell me what the hell is wrong with you. Listener, don't give me the fucking silent treatment now. Come on. Listener, stop walking off. Listener. So, Vance grabs your wrist very, very aggressively and we're gonna say that your wrist is a trigger spot Mm -hmm. and you turn around and you backhand him across the face listener, what the did you just fucking backhand me? No, I don't want your fucking pity anymore. If you're gonna act like a fucking bitch, don't talk to me anymore. So, Vance, uh, walks off. And, like, he starts cussing you out. He's like, you're a fucking bitch. Like, I can't believe I was friends with you that long. Like, blah, 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 blah. Saying all this hurtful shit to you. And you're like, you can start to feel like tears in your eyes coming out. And you're, like, screaming at him, like, please, like, I didn't, like... I didn't mean to, like, fucking slap you across the face. Like, you're trying to, like, get him back. And he walks into the grab-and-go and and slams the door behind him. In your face. Before you could, um, get to him. So you kind of are, like, standing there at the front door of the grab-and-go while Emily is, like, over here, like, trying to comfort him and stuff and, like, what the hell's going on? And, like, you can see that he's obviously, like, super fucking mad. And you can see that you hit him hard enough that his cheek is starting to bruise. And that just breaks you even more. So you run off. And you run home. You run home you run past your mom all the way up to your all the way upstairs to your room and you flop down on your bed and start to sob 
there is another trigger warning coming up. Um, self harm. Yeah, we're gonna go there. <laughs> um, so you're like cuddled up to one of your pillows, and on your bedside table, you see a like single pencil sharpener, like you know those little pencil sharpeners that have like the little screw. Yeah, that, and you see a screwdriver. So, you grab it, you unscrew it so that way you only have the bleed, or the blade, and you start making tiny cuts in your wrist. You do about 10 when you stop. You cut deep enough so that way it bleeds, but not enough so that way it bleeds too much. Like, it doesn't bleed too much. And you're kind of, like, you have the the blade in one hand. And you're looking down at your wrist as it, like, slowly starts to get covered up in blood. And you grab a rag that was on your bedside table as well. And you wipe it off. And you patch yourself up. And you lay back down. And start crying again. Shortly after that, you fall asleep. And that's where I'm going to end this one. Um, will Vance ever find out that you self-harmed? And come back for part three to figure that out. No, it won't be found out in part three. It'll be like a, a couple parts down. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed I had a lot of fun making this, by the way. Although I almost started crying at the self-harm part. Because <laughs> I have problems with self-harm. So, yeah. But, I will put trigger warnings before they happen. So that way you guys can skip over them if you want to. Uh, like I did with the fighting and then the, well, self-harm one. And then, yeah, but there's going to be a lot more angst after this. And then it's going to go to probably fluff. I don't know. I might, I might throw in some spicy in there. I don't know. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your morning, day, or night. Bye bye